In this video, I'm going to be talking about the best knot to use whenever you're going from a mono backing to your braided mainline. So I pretty much use braid for probably 90% of my rods. And one thing I will mention is I'd never put the braid directly on the spool just because it does slip a little bit. So I always put a mono backing on. I think it works much, much better. But the knot I generally use and the one I find the easiest and most straightforward is going to be the double uni knot right here. It's a knot that you can use to tie pretty much any line together. Like you can go from braid to mono, braid to floral, pretty much all of that. And you can use it for different line sizes as well. So you can use, you know, thinner line to thicker line or thicker line to thinner, thinner line. So it's something you're going to probably use more often than not. But normally whenever I am tying braid to like a floral or mono, generally I'll use the surgeon's knot just because it is really, really simple. But I think that going from a backing material to a braided line, I think this is going to be a lot easier and I've never had any issues with this coming undone. So I'm going to be showing you exactly how to tie this yourself. All right, so before we do get started, I just want to mention a gear giveaway I'm planning on doing. So it's probably going to be at like 1,000 subscribers and then I'll probably continue doing it every like 5,000 after that. So here are some things I'm thinking about. So we have for here, it's a bait casting reel. We also have like a backpack, you know, like fishing backpack. I just toss everything in there whenever I'm going out. It's really, really useful. And also like a GoPro or something. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. If you do have any suggestions for anything else, just leave a comment down below and um, I'll figure something out. But if you do want to enter, I need you to do three things. Okay, so first subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment giveaway down below. Just do those three things and it'll be automatically entered. All right, so if you do want to enter, then good luck and we will jump back to the video. All right, so you're going to want to lay your lines out just like this. And in this example here, the black line is going to be the braid and the yellow line is going to be the monofilament. So all we want to do is we want to overlap them by a decent amount. So basically, the more you overlap them, the easier it's going to be. And I'd recommend you overlap them by, you know, a, a decent amount the first couple times you do do it. But what we're gonna do is you can kind of put your finger down here and kind of hold them in place. We're gonna take the monofilament, so right here, and all we have to do is we have to loop it back just like that. Okay, we're gonna take it and we're gonna loop it back and we're gonna cross it over the two strands of line. So we have a loop and then we have our line it looks just like that. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking our tag end here and we're gonna be wrapping it around both strands of line, so the black line and the yellow line, so it's gonna go through the loop. We're gonna take the monofilament tag end and we're gonna wrap it five times going in this direction around both. So all you gotta do is you take it and go one. All right, so it should look something like that. And all we have to do now is grab the tag end, grab the standing part, so the main piece of the monofilament right here, and you gotta slowly start pulling it tight. Before I do tighten it, I like putting a bit of moisture on this so there's some water or spit, it'll, it'll secure it a bit better. But all you gotta do is, you know, cinch it up. You know, you can pull, you can pull the knots down this way and it will kind of secure them better, just like that. So there's the first one. And the second step is to do the exact same thing, but we're gonna be doing it with the black part of the line, which is going to be the braid. So all we gotta do is, in this direction here, we're gonna take the opposite line, so it's going to be the braid. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna loop it back. We're gonna cross it up. But the only difference is we're gonna take the braided tag end and we're gonna wrap it eight times around this, around the two lines here in this direction. So with, with the mono, we did five. With the braid, we're gonna do eight just because it is slipperier. So you wanna make sure that it is it does have a, a lot more grip in it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our line and you're gonna wrap it eight times around this. Um, I, I, I can only do a couple just because I am using um, thicker line here, but do eight with the braid. Then all you gotta do is pull it tight. Again, moisten this a bit with some water or spit. Cinch it down a little bit, pull it down nice and tight. Then you're gonna have your, your, your braided knot here. We're gonna have our monofilament knot here. Then all we gotta do is we gotta grab the main part of the braid and the main part of the monofilament. And all you gotta do is start pulling in opposite directions and the lines will come together just like that. And then they're gonna come together nice and snug. Make sure your wraps are fairly nice. Um, they're kind of like one next to each other. They're not kind of all crisscrossing. Something like that should be fine. 
where you can just pull everything, make sure everything looks good. Once everything looks good, just grab the main part of the lines and then really cinch them down together. Clip off the tag ends. And there's your simple double uni knot, which is my go-to knot anytime I'm going from a mono backing to my main braided fishing line. So if you do want to learn about any other useful knots um, and how to tie them, I will leave a link for that down below. It's going to kind of walk you through all of the all the more common knots and like what they're used for, how to tie them, all that kind of stuff. So that link's down below. And if you do want another entry into our giveaway, you can like and comment on our latest video, which is going to be the left of this video. All right, so hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.